feminism mm -hmm. is like becoming this thing right now that is like <laughs> fuck men mm -hmm. and like that's not, not feminism that, no. uh, i've met so like no problem with that fuck me like, it's been funny because there's like guys that i'm like friends with or whatever that watch that have hit me up off the internet and things and like oh like yeah you're such a feminist and i'm like just so we're clear feminism <laughs> to me is just equality mm -hmm. It's not negative. For me, building up women doesn't mean tearing down men. I don't know why everyone comes on the internet to bitch about sexism. Because I'm sexist. I'm sexist as shit. I fucking hate men. <laughs> but actually, I'm not sexist. Because I hate women too. And that is the true meaning of feminism quality also i'm really only a feminist at my convenience because <laughs> i'm a feminist until there's something real heavy to carry and then all of a sudden i'm a damsel in distress i don't care if i have to feed into your toxic masculinity if that means i don't gotta carry some shit upstairs or something yeah my morals go out the fucking window i'm very depressed today Goodbye. And Yero, uh, you are a board member of the Central Florida Women's Emergency Fund, which strongly supports legalized abortion, right? That is incorrect. Okay. What, what does that organization do? I'm the co-executive director of Florida Access Network. Okay. Well, our, our hearing outline said other. So the Action Network strongly supports legalized abortion, right? Correct. And help me understand the position of your organization. Uh, these are simple yes or no questions. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child? No one should be forced to remain pregnant if they don't want to. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child? Yes or no? I am deeply offended that you would call me a murderer. I'm not calling you a murderer, ma'am. I'm asking you a question. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child? This is about your organization's position. Would they say yes or no? My organization's position is that no one should be forced to remain pregnant if they don't want to. And any re abortion restrictions are... Okay, um, okay. Let me, let, me, uh, let me answer the question for you. I'm assuming that you do not advocate for the murder of children. Okay. What about a toddler? I assume you would say it's not okay to murder a, a toddler either, a two-year-old. What about a newborn? Let me ask you this. The position of the organization, are you for partial birth abortion? Is that the position of the organization? Would you support that? What my organization is for is to support the people who need abortion care, who are lied to when they are sent to okay, alleged if, pregnancy resource does, centers that, that me, just lie to just a second. patients it, would that and apply tell to, them. Would that apply to a woman who is nine months pregnant? I disagree with the premise of your question. Do you, would you support the abortion of a late-term unborn child? Anybody should have should be, have the right to have an abortion at any time Anytime. for any okay. reason. That's what I need. So here's the thing. I'm just trying to understand the logical fallacy. So if we would not support, and I'm, I mean this sincerely, and this is not for you personally. I'm talking about the organization. You support an advocacy organization. If it, if it is not okay to take the life of a small child outside the womb, why is it okay to take the life of a small child nine, month, nine inches up the birth canal inside the womb? What is the distinction? Help me understand the, the distinction of that. I don't understand the question. If it, you, you would not support the murder of a small child, right? No one would. No civilized person would. Why do we support the taking of a life of a child right before they're delivered? No civilized person should support forced pregnancy. Does abortion take the life of something that's alive? No one should be forced to remain pregnant against their will. Ma'am, you're not answering my questions. Let me, let me ask the doctor uh, on this screen. Um, is it okay, uh, or let me ask you this. Does abortion kill something that's alive, take the life of something that's alive? Yeah, you can, right? Sir, the way that you're asking these questions actually intentionally invite violence and harassment to both of us, to all of us. I'm sorry, that I is an absurd you. response. You're a medical Please. doctor. Okay. Tell me if the, yes, the tell me if the, the, if there's an unborn child in the womb or not, if, are we killing something that's alive? When you, when you dismember something in the womb, is that a human being or not? It's a living being, yes or no? 
I'm here to talk about medical care. Yes, this is a direct question about medical care, ma'am. You positioned yourself as an expert on the issue. Are we taking a life or not? Is it a life, yes or no? What you are discussing is not the reality of how abortion care is delivered in this country. If, you know, if we were in a courtroom, so I, I, I would say people. that that's non-responsive. And I think I, we all know why you don't want to respond to that, because the obvious fact here is that you're taking a human life. It's a small human life. It's a human being. Let me ask you, doctor, should abortion be allowed because of the sex of the preborn child, in your medical opinion? I do not believe that there should be any restrictions on the bodily okay. autonomy. All right. So, if, if, so hold on. So if someone gets a, 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 a pregnancy test and they say it's a, it's a little girl and I want a little boy, it's okay to abort that, that child? I have never seen a pregnancy test that tells you this. Would it be okay or not? If someone knows they, if someone has an ultrasound, they know have, have one sex and they want to abort it. Is that okay? The time of the gentleman has expired, Ms. Garcia. I'll just note that no one answered the questions. Thank you. Go back. Ms. Garcia. Thank you, Mr. The masculine urge to fix whatever it is that she's complaining about. Can you imagine a man coming on here and posting a condescending list of all the stupid crap women do on a daily basis and how well that would be perceived? Like, why has it become so normal to shit on men over the dumbest little things? None of these behaviors are inherently masculine. That's just someone being an asshole. And yes, both men and women are capable of being fucking assholes. A man trying to help you fix a problem that you're complaining to him about? What a monster. How dare he? He left the cabinet open? Cut him off. The fact that women feel the need to nitpick and hyperfixate over every little microaggression they might think a man is doing as evidence to a toxic patriarchy is a pretty damning argument as to why feminism is currently used. Protect using. feminism or low gas prices? Oh, I'm always about lowering the gas prices for sure. Why? Absolutely. Uh, well, I think feminism is a demonic movement created by Satan to emasculate men, to get them out of the biblical order that God created. Um, and I don't even drive like a gas powered car. I drive a Tesla. I just don't like feminism. Hell yeah. I love a man that is unafraid to be honest about this stuff because we're all lying to ourselves if we think modern day feminism is doing anything productive and if it's making like happy, peppy, wonderful women and strong men. It's really not. Somebody replied and said he just wants to lower gas prices so he can reach them. Somebody else said dude has SBBB, small body, big brain. I'm here for it. Short King also rules. Feminism. I'm sick of the f feminist misandry on this app. Y'all claim to hate men and want to be independent b until there's a military draft. Or a spider. Or an unopened water bottle. Feminism still relevant in society today. Kind of turned into something that's more of like a, a hatred of, of masculine energy. Like I work with some people who would consider themselves heavy feminists and they are constantly dogging on men and they openly say, I hate men. Uh, but they use their like feminism kind of identity. It's almost an excuse for behavior. We're not living in a day and age where women are constantly being suppressed anymore by question do i think the rise of feminism causes single women to be single the short answer is yes feminism started out as a great thing hey we want to work we want to be able to vote those things make sense and then the sexual revolution happened well we're equal so if a man can do it i can too just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do that thing and now we are the product of that but it's gotten so extreme to the point that all I see from feminists are anger, hatred, bitterness, nothing that actually helps us. It's become more about hating men than uplifting women. How can you even have a good, healthy relationship if men are- You evil? don't need no man, as you suggest. Then I sure hope you don't expect men to pay for your meals when you go out on a date. I hope when that check comes, you're reaching for it every single time. <laughs> But as we know, classic thing, we've, I, I have never heard of a feminist who remains a feminist when the check is. I don't take all you girls out to dinner. I don't give a fuck. But here's the I thing. would rather take a girl out to dinner because these guys are obviously not treating them right. Emotional damage. If you're in a controlling I'm relationship, right please come this way. Right we will teach you how to not Pick be in a controlling right relationship now. and make a lot more money than these dudes that are controlling you.
That's mostly run by men, no? Old men, yeah. yes. Usually that should have been so gone a like long time ago. Wait, tell us again what we even need men for. I brought my bat. From women. Praying no, mantis not, style. Y'all just need use men for sex, get their sperm, kill them off. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. I, I respectfully disagree. Women need men to survive. Let's say all the men evaporated right now. Within a day or two, the infrastructure would collapse. The power grids, all the all the jobs that keep the world the, the world running the way it is. Women do not work these jobs. When it comes to survival, you need men.